Media City Studios with the Barbara Twins, uh, world champion track and field stars. So this is Lisa Barber and Mickey Barber, Hi. and we are here to talk about the second annual Big Ride. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, Jasmine. Absolutely. So, uh, let's get started. So, mm -hmm. first, I know that you're here. Um, the Big Ride is happening this Sunday. October 3rd. October 3rd. Yes. Um, the second one, and it is to end Alzheimer's. Um, so, how did the first one go last year? Let's get, let's get started there. How did the first one go? Okay. I'll start it off. You start off. You set it off. <laughs> okay. Go. So, I actually came up with this event. And um, it all came from my mailman, Nadir. So he was asking me for about two years to come go on a bike ride with him. But I was scared because I haven't rode a bike since I was a little kid. And then my grandmother, my father's mother, passed away um, last August 21st, August 21st, 2020. Mm -hmm. And he finally was like, Mickey, you going this time? I said, you know what? I'm going to do it for grandma. So I said, okay, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do it. And I had a great time. But... Um, my grandmother passed back in 2002 from Alzheimer's disease. So I reached out to the Alzheimer's Association, and I'm now officially, we both are end out athletes. Alps. Yes. So um, we just want to spread the word and continue to fight the cause and make sure that, you know, people know about it and get, they have all the resources and just raise the money to make sure we find a cure. And mm -hmm. so now I started the big ride, and it's 10 miles around Montclair. And last year, 250 people showed up. Wow. 250 riders. Riders. Okay. Hold on. They came. They said this year is going to be bigger and better. Mm -hmm. We raised money. Um, we had an amazing time. Everybody came together in the community. We all had our masks on. It was it was a big thing, especially in the, the heat of the pandemic. Right. So we, um, I started it, and I said, you know what, second year, we're going to be bigger and better. Just keep it going, and hopefully we'll just keep getting bigger and bigger every year and become more of a festival. Like we have vendors. With food, uh, we had activities, we had raffles, giveaways. So it's just a great community experience. It's fun, it's a whole vibe. Yes, yeah. everybody's welcome. Okay, I love it. I did a little bit of research, so it, I did find out that 3 million people are actually diagnosed with Alzheimer's, you know, every year. Yes. So I think it's a very important cause. Um, and so when I read a little bit more about why you're doing the ride, I thought to myself, like, how was that dealing with the pandemic and then finding out that your grandmother passed away, like, at a time where you can't see relatives, you can't visit hospitals, yes. and, you know, everything that's going on, like, being isolated from family. How was that for you guys? Yes, well, it was very hard for us because we live in Los Angeles, California, mm -hmm. and all of our family is back here in Montclair, New Jersey. So my and grandmother... The East Coast more, per se. Yeah, mm -hmm. the East Coast. Mm -hmm. But um, my grandmother, she wasn't in the hospital. She was 89, and she was pretty much fine. She had some mm -hmm. illness, but I felt overall she was doing pretty well, and she just, she just suddenly right. passed. Yeah. So it was, it was hard. And, it's hard for everybody. Yeah. And yeah. I haven't seen... We haven't, this is our first time home in a year, so I haven't seen okay. my family in a whole entire year since mm -hmm. my grandmother passed. So it feels awesome to come back, and mm -hmm. of course I'm sad we miss her, but I know that she would, you know, be excited if we did something like this for her and my mother's mother who mm -hmm. passed with Alzheimer's back then. So it's basically for them, and it's every it's for everybody who's going through something. I lost so many friends and family members, my my, my their, good their friends. parents yeah. passed, mm -hmm. and you know. It's about blessings, about being thankful, it's about gratitude, it's about celebrating every day, it's about living the health and health as wealth lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So that's why we wanted to push ourselves with the 10 mile ride because yes. I didn't think I can do it. I'm Me like, neither. 10 miles? <laughs> what if I fall? What if I get, uh, you know, a coordinator or something? But we did it. We had some people from Connecticut, yeah. people from out of town came, New and York, New Jersey, all, all over the tri state, and, and different it, bike clubs that showed so much. A love. lot of love. Thank you to the bike clubs because you guys really showed out. Yeah. And it brought awareness to the community to keep moving, keep active. And a lot of people that did ride, they never, they haven't rode in a long time. And this made people go out and get bikes. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you rode a bike? Um, Actually, we, I just got a bike this year. Okay. But How do you feel when you ride? I feel like, so to be honest with you, I feel 
like a kid again, right? Thank because you. I have not rolled since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned how to ride, I don't know, when I was like nine years old. And mm-hmm. I used to ride, like, I, I grew up in East Star, so I used to mm-hmm. ride down to like the park. And then after that, like, since being an adult, I have not rolled a bike. So, get exactly. back on the bike, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, let me <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait a minute. But when you got on, how'd it go? It, it went perfectly. You say, once right. you learn how to ride a bike, you will never forget. Right? So, <laughs> and, that's, and that's true. That's true. So right. it's something different. You know, we, we're both professional. We're both sprinters. Mm-hmm. And, yes. and, you know, we love being active. But mm-hmm. it's something that we were kind of nervous about. Yeah, so. we were new to this, too. So this was something different for us, too. So we wanted to push ourselves, push everybody. Have a good time. Mm-hmm. Have some good food. Have some music. Um, support a cause. Support all yes. different causes. It's about a support good, life. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's about Living. having a good time. We're here and having a good time. Did you guys do anything to prepare for the ride last year? No, no actually, we, no. Nikki, okay, let me tell you guys. Nikki came with us from like five days before. Oh wow! Like it was real fast. <laughs> like Nikki, we got this for our birthday, and I'm like. Our birthday is in a couple of days. Yes. October yeah, our birthday, birthday is October 4th. Yes, it's so, our birthday so, ride. Yes, it's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. It's a Libra season situation. Yes. <laughs> so Mickey came up with like, oh, she did the bike ride with Nadir and Patterson. They had, a, she, they had an amazing turnout. Okay. And she's like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to do this for Grandma and Grandpa. Because my grandfather had Alzheimer's too. My oh, wow. dad's father. And both our grandmothers and our and grandfather. Exactly. Did they pass from Alzheimer's or grandfather? Yeah. yeah, I guess he did. I mean, he was older, so that's the thing that a lot of times like it gets swept under the rug because mm-hmm. you think, like, my grandfather was almost 90, so I okay. thought, like, well, he just died of old age. Mm-hmm. But then come to find out he had Alzheimer's. Yeah. And he was forgetting things, mm-hmm. and so dementia and Alzheimer's, mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes those get lumped together. Right. And it's like, no, he didn't have Alzheimer's, he had dementia. But it's it's it's, it's all insane. like you're losing yeah. your mind. Right. And it all it affects families yeah if some people don't know how to deal with it and we don't awareness of it right because there's no cure like i didn't know my grandfather had alzheimer's but i knew i knew he did and we knew he did because my mom's uh grandmother had it mom's mom but my mom's mother had it and you know it's just we sometimes you can you can mix those two up right but you know at the end of the day it's about the same you lose your mind Right, it it affects everybody in the family. It does like imagine like I don't know how 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 close you were to your very close. Oh, yeah. So how was it like it like when you talk to them? Did they remember you? Or no. Did, like, oh, how, how was see, it? and then what are the effects of that? Like how do you feel when mm-hmm. you speak to your grandparents? You have these memories of them, and then you know you, you want to connect with them, and mm-hmm. they really don't they don't remember, remember things. Yeah. How how is that for you guys? Or so how was it when my grandmother we she passed when we were in college. So okay. my mother's grandmother, my okay. mother's mother, she has a little college. So, um, I just know we were teenagers, and then matter of fact, she had early onset, so she was only sixty five when she passed, okay. and she got the, um, diagnosed with the di- disease maybe when she was fifty five. Oh wow! So she I was thought just early. Just early. Yeah, I thought yeah. my grandmother was way older because yeah. she start. It took a toll on her appearance. It took a toll on everything. It happened fast. Mm-hmm. Well, like maybe within you no. Know, it didn't happen fast, but it did happen fast. Within ten but in years. ten years of like fifty five, yeah. But it's it, it hit her hard. Where we like, thought she was like eighty or something. Then we look back like, wait a minute, she was the same. She was only with fifty Alzheimer's, something. Alzheimer's, you get diagnosis at like around sixty five. So for you to find out at fifty five, that is pretty. That's bad. early, yeah. and and then it it hit her hard. Mm-hmm. So you know, it was it was a it was a time where like. She would forget things. Then it was a time where it just went like she didn't remember us. Mm-hmm. And the, I mean, we learn like, wow, this really changes you. This mm-hmm. really affects you. And there are different levels. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, we just want to bring awareness to it. And it it's, it affects a lot of people. A lot of people with dementia or Alzheimer's. And a lot of people don't know how to deal with it. A lot of people don't know how to cope. And a lot of times there are different effects where someone can see normal for the whole day and then all of a sudden they're like, where's my frying pan? You're like, what's a, what are you talking about a frying pan? And they just might say something crazy like that mm-hmm. and then the, uh, the person dealing with it might be like, well, why is she talking like that or he talking like that? And they just may not understand like they don't know what they're doing. Right. This is not them and it's just a part of the sickness. Mm-hmm. It's a part of the disease. 
And I hope, you know, we can just keep raising money and finding a cure for this because yeah. it affects so many people that don't understand it. And we learned early with my with Mimi, rest in peace Mimi, early how like this is not a joke or this is not this is real. Right. And it doesn't it, it hits you hard mm -hmm. because they look normal. Right. And then all of a sudden it could just snap and they're not the same. Mm -hmm. If you had to leave a message with someone um, that is, that has a like a family member that is dealing with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. or dementia, if you had to leave a message of hope or encouragement with someone, what would it be? I would just say remember the good times and that don't take anything personal. Yeah. And you have to be patient. patient. And they'll come back around probably a lot fewer times but they'll come back around and need to remember you and just know that because sometimes you, they might have they might lash out sometimes or they might say something that you're like wait what but just know that they don't mean it and mm -hmm. that just always love them even more and every time they come back just cherish that time mm -hmm. i would say the same thing like just stay patient um one thing that i've learned with alzheimer's um, and dementia that music helps. Yeah, music. Play if, some music. If you, come if back. you know yeah. a song that they loved mm -hmm. or you know it, it made them feel a certain way or if you know a family member or if you know a certain thing like a personal thing that they know that if you bring out the stuffed animal or like a dog if you bring up someone's name that, that they attach to it Talk about it. Keep remembering. Play their favorite song. To me, music, like music, brings them back. Mm -hmm. Whether even if it's not a certain song, but if it's jazz, if it's rap, if it's uh, country music, if it's slow rhythm mm -hmm. and blues, like play that for them, and you'll see a reaction. You will, but you have to know what they used to like, mm -hmm. and that like music is like the key. Like if I could play it for my grandfather, my grandfather used to play. The harmonica, okay. like we used to, we used to go on the front porch and we used to be like, "Grandpa, play harmonica," but we play rhythm and blues. <laughs> Grandpa would bust that thing out and start just playing. And then I, like I guess I didn't know he had Alzheimer's, but um, he did. Yeah. But if you, if you would, we could play it on our phone real quick, mm -hmm. and he'll just, he'll just, it'll, it'll bring it right back. Like he'll know what's he'll going on. He'll play the air harmonica. And, and, and he might even have an harmonica. We'll have an air harmonica, mm -hmm. and he'll just start playing it. Mm -hmm. So music is a major tool in uh, Alzheimer's, dementia. Um, it just brings back memories because you got to think about it. You get married to your favorite song. Yeah. You like a lot of events happen to your favorite song. Mm -hmm. It's like a universal language. A yeah. universal language. Yeah. So no matter what genre, um, people remember music because mm -hmm. it takes you back to that time. Right. And with Alzheimer's, you do lose time, mm -hmm. but you don't lose that. You don't lose that memory though. Yeah. You don't. It's like music is associated with memories. It makes me think of the movie Notebook. Yeah, yeah. the Notebook. Yeah. The, the Notebook. notebook. And how she mm -hmm. remembered how to play her song because she didn't remember a lot of things. Exactly. Yeah. Is there any like um songs or, or like music that your you know your grandmother would have liked when you play for her or anything like that? I don't even know. Yeah, so grandma, I don't think about it. I don't know. <laughs> I was grandma. Both grandmothers. I can't, I can't say a song. That. But I know my. But if I know my blues. grandfather, if we play like jazz or rhythm and blues, mm -hmm. dun, 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 he's gonna bring out the air harmonica. He did, <laughs> and he bring out his hat. That's why we wear hats a lot too. Yeah. See, the LB for mm -hmm. He's gonna bring out the air harmonica, and it just goes right back to wherever he was because I wasn't born yet. Then and it's it's gonna go right back, yeah. and I see that in my dad. Mm -hmm. I see, my dad loves music. I love music. Nikki loves music. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a, it's a thing. Like that's a connection mm -hmm. because music is timeless. Yes, it music is. is timeless. Yes, it's like a time capsule. It <laughs> is. But you do lose time with Alzheimer's. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. But that you won't. Yeah. And I 
also we're both riding. We're on a tandem bike together. Okay. Oh, so it's like yeah. I'll make his hand. Yeah, I just um, hurt my hand four months ago. I'm four months out right now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, I hurt my hand. I had an um, accident because of some glass, and I'm trying to regain um, strength. Strength. And I'm trying to regain strength right now. So right now I can't make a fist mm-hmm. or anything like that. So Lisa will be driving. She now have to ride her. Mm-hmm. Okay, the bike. Okay. But I'm gonna back pedal and pushing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you know it's about a it's about effort. the comeback. It's about yeah. team effort. It's about not giving up. Yeah. You know, if you've lost somebody, if you're going through something, it's about coming back. It's about having a good time. It's about um rejuvenation. Mm-hmm. It's about a new start. So that's what I'm doing, you know, because I they said I couldn't ride a bike. But hey, I can ride a tandem bike. Yeah. Come on, throw. That's why you gotta pivot and transition and then come just on. come back. Wait a minute. Do that. They, they said you weren't going to move your hand again. Move it. Okay. Ooh, it's moving. Okay. We're four months in. Okay? Yeah. Yes. This for I don't time. stop. Yeah. Yes. We're not going to believe that. Yeah. They told me that she was never going to move her hand. She was never going to feel it. And we have some movement already. Yeah. I can't already. really feel it yet. But it's the feeling is not here yet. This is just the truth. So do this for the hand. Come out to the big ride for the for hand. hand. Yes. You know? Sorry. <laughs> the hand is still sensitive. Sorry. We gotta move it though. Yes. That's all right. It's the comeback season. I love it. Yeah. I think this is great. I think it's a beautiful cause. Yeah. Um, this is the second year. Yes. Um, so I know you mentioned before off camera before we talked that it's about the celebration of life. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. staying active. It's mm-hmm. about community. Yes. Um, so let's talk more about why it's imp- why you want people to come out why it's important to talk about your sponsors but we'll, we'll first talk about why you want people to come out why it's so important to you mm-hmm. well it's the i want people to come out just to um to raise awareness again for alzheimer's disease to have to live healthy balanced healthy lifestyles yes. active lifestyles to come get some great food get some great entertainment and just you know and enjoy our sunday fun day with yes. us yes. oh and we do have a special guest coming Yes. We're not going to say yet. No, We're not going to say yet. Y'all going to come out. Y'all can say it. I mean, you can, say can we get an exclusive okay. on what you say now? Dot com? Well, yes. So, so who is going to get an exclusive <laughs> first on what you say now? Okay. So, um, the most one of the most inspirational songs I know is Keep Rising to the Top. Keep okay. Rising to the Top. Okay. Give yeah. it all you got. Everyone knows that part. Yes. Right? Hey. Hey. So, we have Happy the legendary Burks. Kenny Burks. Okay. That sings Kenny Burke. Kenny Burke. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Kenny Burke. That sings Keep Rising to the Top. He will be in the building. He will be performing Amazing. Keep Rising to the Top. It's going to be like Sunday service, you know. Sunday service. What? It's going to be amazing. So I'm that's why everybody needs to come out because Kenny doesn't perform for everybody. No, he's no. going to perform for the big ride because that's how much he believes in, you know, Alzheimer's. He believes in the community. He believes in unity. Yes. He believes in having fun. He believes in us. Let's go. <laughs> so let's and, go. And anyone else that's coming out, or you just the only drop that we that we are getting? That's the <laughs> we have Boutique Balashik. Yes. Okay. We have NSN. Okay. We have um, Empanadas. Okay. Yes. Um, Bobbis with NSN. The, a whole team together. Mm-hmm. We have Kaisha's Corner. Mm-hmm. We have oh, Art. Is it the cakes, the peach cobbler? No. Oh no, that's that's not so that. Okay. That's yeah. Leah Paul. That's her daughter's. Uh, that's her bakery mm-hmm. situation going on. Don't know the name yet, but it's coming. Um. Then we have RC interviews with the yes, the pictures yes, and yes. the digital and mm-hmm. like that. Then we have. What else do we have? Oh, we have Body Code Juices. That's by me. Yes. Then we're gonna have a honey collection. Mm-hmm. Uh. Jewelry right here. I have one on. Uh, Jasmine has one on. These are healing stones. We have a couple of vendors coming out. Oh, then we have Coco did it. Um, she's going to have her hair, her lashes. Oh, yes. We're going to have a lot of good vendors from the local community, Essex County. Um, so you guys just come out. It's going to be a lot of different things. Just come out to Glenfield Park October 3rd from 1130. So here's the thing. 1130 is wheels down. We're going to be going on a bike ride. So yeah. if you don't have your bike, you can stay in the park. Then you can and stay in the park and enjoy. <laughs> um, but we'll be back around 1 o'clock. So if you can find a bike, we might have some bike rentals at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, what's Diamond Bike? Yes. Oh, Diamond Bike, Diamond bike yes. Sponsors. Yes. Uh, we yes. have our money bike out there. <laughs> 
Um, Diamond Bike is a local uh, bike shop. If you want to get your bike fixed, if you want to buy a bike, come to Diamond Bikes mm -hmm. on Bloomfield Avenue in Montclair, New Jersey. And um, we'll be taking a 10-mile bike ride around Montclair, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. This is not going to – don't get intimidated by this, guys. Seriously, do not get intimidated. We're going to have fun. It's a community event. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come back to the park and have a good time. Mm -hmm. So just come on out. Everybody is welcome and uh, support local vendors. Yeah. And we are here. Do you yes. have any additional sponsors other than the. Yes, we do have a. Um, you know, sponsors. We do have a few <laughs> sponsors. I'm trying to name them off the top of my head. Okay. We have um, Truso. Okay. Yes, it's a Truso, a new tech company coming out. We're right now in beta testing, but yes. it's a great thing that's about to happen. Yes. They will be sponsoring us, Truso. Kate Wood Bikes. They're in. Kate Wood Bikes! Yes, they're a company from Indonesia. They wanted to support. PSD Underwear, yes. they supported That's Spray a Ground Company. Okay. Spray Ground. Spray Ground. Oh, 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 oh. Let's show it off. So Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> we have RC okay. Interviews. Yes. We have um, Book Packs. Yes. Naveed's Car Wash. Uh, some local sponsors. Thank you. For we got Booze Barbershop. Booze Barbershop in the building. NSN, like she said. Yes. Um, Boutique Balashi, yes. Replay CBD. Okay. Also oh. Travulous. Hello. Hello. <laughs> book your cruise, book your party, book any event that you need. Also Travelers does it all. And we have the exclusive lipsticks. Uh, yes. Wait you a minute. Show it away. Oh, show the lipsticks. Oh, have to see it. Wait a minute. Lipstick. Hold on. Let me show you my lipstick. <laughs> One second. We got our lipstick coming. Yeah, the lipstick is coming. We can pause. We can pause. So Lisa, show them how to. You gotta flip it. Wait, wait, so, come over oh, here. Right. Just do do my commands. Do my flip commands. Stick. So what you gotta do, man? Okay. So you flip it. Flip it. Stick it. Uh huh. Okay. Hold on. Get come to the. We're getting it together. We're getting it together. Get it together. Get it together. Hold on. Okay. Right. Now you gotta flick it. Ooh. Hold on, what are we doing? Do y'all see this? We're gonna flick okay. it. What are we flick doing? It. Hold on. Hold on. Uh -huh. Flick it. Hold on. Oh! oh. And then you oh. twist it. Come twist it. Twist Come twist it off. Oh! oh. Nothing on the wall. wall. Nothing on the wall. Nothing. Please, please. Please, please. Stick okay. on the bear. Can it stick on the bear? <laughs> oh, pick the bear. Pick the bear. <laughs> Make I don't know. It's on it. Uh oh, oh. Okay. okay, whatever. Let me try. It's okay. It wasn't on there. It wasn't there. You didn't push it on. You didn't push it on. You put it right here. It's on there. It flips it. It's on the wall. It's on the wall. No, it goes on It's a flat surface. It goes on a flat surface. Yeah, it goes on a flat surface. Oh, I want lighting. There we go. Come on. Look at the ring. It's okay. Look at the ring. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Come on, timer. There we go. What are we doing? Three seconds. Three to one. Oh. Yes! yes! Come on, picture! Lipstick! Lipstick! What are we doing? No hands, ma! Huh? Look, ma! No, no hands! Uh -huh. Oh! Yes! No, let's twist it off, twist it off. Hold yes, on, let me twist, twist it off. Hey, look how easy it is. Boom! Boom. So those will be available at the Big Rise. Yes. The lipsticks will be yes. exclusively available at the Big Rise. Exclusive. Harry's company. Okay, IE. Um, in essence, clothing line who will be providing the wonderful big ride shirts, yes. black on business. Thank you so much. They were are great, they're soft, they're beautiful. Oh, yes, they're soft, they're beautiful, high quality <laughs> t shirts for the big ride. Thank yes. you, in essence. Awesome. Yes. So, how do we sign up and how do we donate? Will you be collecting donations on site or do you have to donate ahead of time? Yes, no, no, you can, they'll be on site, they'll be ahead of time, you can go to Eventbrite at The Big Ride, mm -hmm. and I am your host, you can, you can donate there, you can, there will be donations. Nikki Barber. Okay. Nikki Barber. Let's, mm -hmm. okay, so what are your social media so that we can get that information? Yes. Good, so. You can go to Mickey Mango on Instagram, M-I-K-I-M-A-N-G-O, mm -hmm. and you can go to L Barber 80 at... No. It's, it's, it's no. Barbara Amy. <laughs> on Instagram. On Instagram. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the Eventbrite is in your bio. The big right. Yes. The, yes. Is, the link is in the bio. Mickey okay. Mango. And the link bio. is in the bio, guys. Sign up. Just come out. Have a good time. Yes. Like, check out these cool bikes right here. Let's go. Yes. Spray Ground Bears. Spray Ground Bears. <laughs> 
this performer bike, the GT. Hello. This is what we're getting ready for, guys. Have a good time. Come on out. It's for a cause, for fun. Um, winter's coming, guys. So yes. it's going to be one of the last days where, you know, y'all know how y'all do in Jersey. Let me just yeah. tell you on how my neighbor Marva. Marva is 74 years Come old. Come do Marva. Marva came out. Marva's like, no, Mickey, I can't do it. She even had a toothache. But you know what? After the race, after the after the event, who was in the park with a bike? Marva. Marva. Who, who said she made the 10 miles? Marva. Marva. Okay. Who had a police escort? Marva. Hello. Okay. But she did it, so there's no excuses. I have two more questions for you. Mm -hmm. One is, did you receive any feedback or any testimonies from last year? Throughout? What? Everybody from last year. Mm -hmm. First of all, they talked again. about it for about three weeks. I mean, it, everyone was, that went was like, whoa, like this was really cool. They loved it. The energy was great because it was really last minute. And I was like, I don't know how to do an event. I, like the day before, I'm like, they're like, Mickey, I, I was like, I think they're coming. <laughs> and then they came and they showed up. We had everything. We accommodated everybody. Everybody was cool. We had an amazing time. So they were waiting for this one. So okay. it warms my heart that people were like, when's the big ride? Mm -hmm. And that it's going to really happen. It's going off. It's on Sunday. We got a special guest. Oh, I can't wait. Let's Come on. The, the rain permits. <laughs> Come on, rain. Cut it out, rain. Yeah. The weather if it does rain, it's going to be for a second, guys. Yeah. 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 Then we can, we can, we can weather that storm. Yes. And then my last question is moving forward outside of Alzheimer's. Is there, are there any other causes? I know you mentioned on the event, right, that you're going to be donating to different charities. Yes. Um, are there other causes that you want to get into moving forward? Because I know there's going to be many more. I know this is the second one. Yes. But I know there's going to be many more. What are you going to, what are you looking to, uh, I guess, make, raise awareness for moving forward? Okay, well, we, we always want to um, raise awareness just about health and wellness, period. So mm -hmm. anybody who is suffering from, to me, cancer, uh, diabetes, any, any ailments, they affect all of our families. So yes. the main thing we want to just say is that you need to be healthy. You need to be active. You need to stay active. That's what Body Code is about. Yes. And so mm -hmm. we, we just, um, we have our own program, Body Code, which we do is a, a workout program, a fitness program. A nutritional program it's a lifestyle okay. so that's what that's what we always want to promote is, is this being health, healthy and to support people who are suffering and going through things okay. so that's really oh and I want to support the, the Mahakla African American Heritage Foundation the president uh, mr. Al Pelham yes who's been a leader in our community a community activist who's been around with my parents and he's been a, a great person to the whole community. He just passed. And we would like to donate some of the proceeds to their foundation. Yes. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is really important. I see that you guys are really pouring back into your community. Gotcha. And just, yeah, that's so important. It's just like, you know, you guys are, you know, all the way in Los Angeles. You came back. Got to come back. back to your community. So that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you were able to sit down for the Say Now blog. What to say now? Yes. Yeah, talk about the big ride coming up. Um, are there anything, like any other businesses yes. that you guys want to plug before we conclude? Yes. Um, I would like to plug up my business, Fearless Mind yes. Company, that I found in 2015. Mm -hmm. We've been to over 300 schools all over the country, yes. Um, different organizations. We do virtual. What do you talk about though? We talk about anti-bullying. We talk about self-confidence. We talk about health. We talk about wealth. We talk about just being better overall individuals yes. and being better than we were yesterday, mm -hmm. and to keep going and to be fearless and to never give up on your dreams. Yes. Never let a setback keep you back, and just mm -hmm. to keep moving forward with happiness and lead with love and academics. Let's go. Of course, you have to be smart. You know, yes. you have to you have mm -hmm. to always want to be better. That's why I say you have to be better than yesterday. And that's getting smarter. Yes. yes. So that's it. So the uh, the big ride is powered by Fearless Minds. Yes. And Lisa also has her jewelry company called uh, the Honey Collection. Honey Collection. Yes. Uh, yes. Healing stones. Um, I make them myself. And every stone has different a different meaning. I started about ten years ago. And it's turned into a business. And, you know, I just want to send healing and gratitude to people. Mm -hmm. And also, Body Code. I'll be having my Body Code juices there. Uh, we'll be having apple, lemon, pear, ginger, lemon, mm -hmm. and carrot, cinnamon. So you guys come there. What are their names? 
Oh, we have the Eclipse and Carrot Dream. Yes. Okay. And we'll have an amino acid drink um, for after the bike ride. With TC1 um, gel. With TC1 gel. So you guys, come on out. We'll have like food. We'll have juices. We'll have vendors. We have Boutique Bala Chic. We have also Travelers. We'll have NSN. We'll replay. Have replay. TC1 gel. And we'll have... Uh, the bag yeah. spray ground. Yes. We'll have and many more sponsors. Many more sponsors. And we have NDO Champ, NDO Champ, yeah. Jersey Zone. Famous. We're gonna come through. We might have a lot of We're gonna have a lot of special guests. We have guests. a lot of other special guests from Jersey. And um, this race is also dedicated to Makisha Lewis. McKeesh. Who is on the road to recovery. Yes. And we love you. That's our Gamecock sister. Our, yes. Mind you, um Keisha and Shell are my college roommates at the University of South Carolina where we won the one and only national championship the from field. the University of South Carolina in track and field. Mm -hmm. And um, Keisha right now has suffered a major stroke. A major stroke. Mm -hmm. She's um, in recovery. She's in recovery. And we just got to keep her in our prayers and keep her strong. So we will be wearing, in, in support of Keisha's, we will be uh, wearing, wearing a track girls. girls logo, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a nonprofit organization that supports all the everything with track and field and empowering girls all throughout the country. By her twin sister, her twin Michelle sister. Lewis. Yes. And um, sometimes when, when, when times get rough, you have to, uh, we, we used to call it pick up the gun. Pick it's, up the gun. You we have to pick up the gun for your soldier. Um, as we used to use in um, South Carolina, when, when when things got tough, when a, when your soldier down, when, you when your soldier down, you got to pick up the gun and, and, and shoot for them. And mm -hmm. That's this, what we're doing. this is one of our times where this has really happened. And it's un- Believable. Mm -hmm. Um, just so for everybody who has lost somebody, all my friends, I love y'all. Um, like um, Aunt Sharon, Chelsea Randolph, mm -hmm. and Jessica and Justin. That's like Aunt Sharon. We lost her this year. Yes. And um, everyone, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters. Everyone mm -hmm. who's lost someone. Everyone who's lost this someone. This ride is for you. This is ride is for you. This right. is what we're here for. Alzheimer's. This ride is for overcoming something. Okay. Yes. Because this is what we have to keep going yes. and just keep rising to the top. Yes. yes the big ride. ride. Yes. That's why we have okay. Kenny Burks here. We're going to have yes. Sunday service. Sunday service. Yes. I don't understand. Yes. Let's go, Ryan. You preach with that. <laughs> Let's go. So come out. Montclair, yes. New Jersey. Let's come out for New Jersey. Montclair, New Jersey with Thank the party. Thank you. Lisa. Right. Right. Lisa. You Mickey. ride again? Of course. I'm down with ride. I'm down with ride. Okay. <laughs> so, Lisa right. and thank Mickey, the Barry twins. Right? So, thank you. This has been a What You Say Now interview. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are now tuned in to whatyousaynow.com. Confirm what you heard.